सो दी सर्किट फॉर डिटरमाइनिंग और फॉर कंपेरिंग द ई एम एफ ऑफ सेल्स एज जनरली फॉर फॉर एवरी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पोटेंशियल मीटर वायर द प्राइमरी सर्किट ऑफ द पोटेंशियल मीटर वायर विल रिमेन द सेम दट मीन्स इन द प्राइमरी सर्किट वॉट वी हैड वर इन ई एम एफ विद सम इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस ओके एंड अ वेरिएबल रेजिस्टर और यू स्टैंड ओके सो दिस इज द प्राइमरी सर्किट ओके सो द प्राइमरी सर्किट विल रिमेन ऑलवेज द सेम ओके एंड अक्रॉस द प्राइमरी सर्किट वी हैड अ पोटेंशियल मीटर वायर ओके सो लेट अज्यूम दैट देर इज सम पोटेंशियल मीटर वायर ऑफ some corresponding length okay potentiometer wire is arranged so that uh, the device is compact okay it is arranged in this manner hmm? the wire goes a wire ab okay whose length total length is capital n okay and the resistance associated with this length of wire ab is capital r okay now this is the primary circuit we have just drawn it uh, drawn it in uh, in another way okay now uh, we need to compare emf of cells okay so we have two emfs okay we have uh, Add it two EMFs. Suppose there are two EMF. One is E one, and the other one is E two. Okay, so they are connected in such a manner that the positive terminal of the primary circuit is in common to these uh, these cells, okay. and they are connected with the help of a two-way switch. This is a two-way switch to a galvanometer, which in turn is connected to a jockey. Okay, so this is a jockey. Okay, now uh, this is a two-way switch. Okay. Uh, now, in order to compare the EMF of the cells, what we'll be doing is we'll be again using the method of null deflection. Okay, that means as we have seen in the uh, uh, principle, as per the principle of uh, the potentiometer uh, wire, we know that the potential difference between the two points hmm. is directly proportional to its corresponding length. Okay. So uh, when uh, what will happen is that in the potentiometer wire, uh, we'll be connecting. one cell at a time okay by the help of this two way switch that means at the first instant let us assume that we have connected even even to the circuit okay so e2 is open okay so it this is same as saying that e2 is not included in the circuit so the only cell which is connected in the circuit is now even and we have a primary cell uh, e okay connected in the primary circuit now what will happen is now, now if we will be moving the jockey across the potentiometer length and we will be finding a point on the potentiometer wire let us uh, assume that this point is p okay such that for this point on this uh, potentiometer wire we have no deflection in the galvanometer so this point p corresponds to the balancing point or the null point on the potentiometer wire and since there is no current which is passing through the potentiometer uh, through the galvanometer there is no uh, current which is passing through this uh, wire we can say that this uh, concept is independent of the internal resistance since there is no current which is passing through the wire so it is independent of the internal resistance of the cell that means we can accurately determine the only the emf associated with the cell there is no uh, point in considering the internal resistance which is associated with the cells as at the null point or at the uh, null deflection there is no current passing through the uh, this cell okay so as per the principle of potentiometer wire the potential difference between the two points in our case the potential difference between the two points ap uh, between these so let us assume that the length corresponding to this uh, ap length of ap let us assume that this is equal to some l1 some value l1 okay so as per the principle of potentiometer wire the emf or the potential difference between the point is directly proportional to its corresponding length and the potential difference between these two points since no current is passing through the circuit the potential difference is same as even okay and that is proportional to its corresponding length l1 okay so if we will uh, uh, replace this proportionality sign we can get a constant which is potential gradient times l1 so this is our equation number 1 okay now what we'll be doing is now in the second case by using this two way switch we will be connecting the second cell in the circuit okay that means now e2 is connected in the circuit and e1 is left open okay and we'll be again following the sa same procedure okay that means we'll be uh, connect uh, we'll be uh, uh, placing the jockey across the potentiometer wire and finding a position at which there is no deflection in the galvanometer uh, let us assume that at uh, because of this cell e2 uh, the jockey is placed at some different position okay so that there is null deflection in the galvanometer suppose that this position is p dash p prime okay so this p prime indicates a position on the potentiometer wire at which there is no deflection in the galvanometer because of this cell e2 okay so uh, let us assume that the length corresponding to this ap prime is l2 
So as per the principle of potentiometer wire, the potential difference between these two point A P dash is directly proportional to its corresponding length. Okay, and as we can see, the potential drop between the point A and P da P prime is E two. So E two is directly proportional to L two. Okay, and the proportionality constant is pro potential gradient, and potential gradient is same for the circuit. Okay, so for both the cases, we will be having the same potential gradient L two. This is our expression number two. Okay, so from equation one and equation two, we can compare the EMF of the cells. For comparison, uh, we'll divide equation two from equation one. So we'll be getting an expression of K even by E two is to K L one by K L two. Okay, that means this implies even divided by E two is equal to L one divided by L two. Okay, so this is how we can use a potentiometer wire to compare EMF of two cells. Okay, and this can also be used to determine the value of the unknown EMF. Suppose uh, if we want to determine the value of unknown EMF, suppose the unknown EMF is E2. What we can do is we can uh, follow the same procedure. Here, uh, in place of even, we can use a standard uh, uh, EMF whose value we already know. Okay, so if we know the value of even by using this formula, we can calculate for the value of E2. Okay, and L1 and L2 are the length corresponding to this potentiometer wires for which there are no deflections in the galvanometer. Okay, that could be directly read from the meter scale, which is calibrated just beneath the potentiometer wire. Okay, uh, now uh, just we will see an another example of uh, how how we can calculate a very important uh, problem. That actually a simple problem, but very important problem of uh, based on again uh, potential gradient. Okay, the potential gradient concept in potentiometer is very. Um, Useful. It's very important. Okay, so we'll just go back on the potential gradient and see an example based on the potential gradient. Okay, uh, so this is a question based on potential uh, gradient. Uh, a potentiometer wire of length 10 meter and a resistance 30 ohm is connected in series with a battery of EMF 2.5 volt and internal resistance 5 ohm and external resistance RH. If the fall of potential along the potentiometer wire is 50 micro volt per millimeter, the value of RH is. Okay. Now uh, this is uh, the same thing which we have seen in the primary. This is basically the data given uh, for the primary circuit of a potentiometer wire, wherein we have a EMF E whose value given to us is 2.5 volts with an internal resistance connected R as uh, the value of the internal resistance given to us is 5 ohms. Okay, 
and an external resistance rh the value of which we have to determine 